Yo, guess what I heard? It was from my neighbor's best friend's uncle's proctologist. He said he knows a guy inside of Toyota's dealer network, and he says that we are absolutely getting the manual Supra this year. Bro, you can't argue with that. That is legit. Welcome back, you're watching the Evil X channel. I wanted to give a quick take on what I think is gonna happen as far as the Mark V Supra getting a manual transmission. Right now, there's rumors floating around that as soon as next month, there could be an announcement from Toyota that officially unveils a manual Mark V Supra. Now, do I think that's gonna happen? We'll see. The rumors have been going around ever since the car was initially announced and revealed in 2019. Now, I remember when they were having the press junkets and the different um, magazines and YouTubers were getting to check out the car for the first time and they had the Toyota development team with the Japanese engineers and they did frequently get asked if there would be a manual option in the future. They never said no, they said it could be a possibility. But one thing that did kind of stick with me is that they had said they wanted to bring out new things um, on a model year to model year basis to kind of keep things lively for the platform. So I think that could be a possibility. So the main rumors are coming from the drive. So let me just read that to you what they have. So what they said on the drive, quote, years ago before Toyota launched production of the GR Supra, it admitted that it had had engineered and knew how to build a manual version. It just wasn't sure selling one would offer a return of investment. Since then, rumors have emerged that Japan alleging that Toyota was at last given the three pedal Supra green light and that it could bring it to the market by 2022. I'll admit I still didn't fully buy it. Not until I heard from a source inside Toyota's, Toyota's dealer network that the manual Supra is confirmed and could debut this year. Okay, that's not a lot of, not a lot of information. That sounds like a big grain of salt to me. And this has been going around like the forums and Facebook groups that, oh, the, the manual's confirmed, the manual's confirmed. Anyway, it goes on to say, this information came from the source that helped collaborate rumors about the upcoming GR Corolla hot hatchback. Such a model was allegedly shown at a product preview event for dealers in Las Vegas late last year alongside a prototype manual Supra. The driver reached out to Toyota regarding these claims, though the auto automaker de declined to comment. Of course they did. So then there was another article that just popped up and it seems to be referring to the first article from the drive. This time it was by Roadshow, which is by CNET. And they had to say, Toyota Supra will sprout a manual transmission option this year. Yes, the Supra will finally get three pedals and a stick. Toyota Supra buyers won't be relegated to the choice of only an automatic transmission much longer. Roadshow can confirm the Supra will receive a manual transmi transmission option this year. The driver the drive first reported on the news citing a dealership source on Wednesday. It's unclear what other changes Toyota may present for the Supra this year, but a clutch pedal is one of them. Is it the Supra's need to succeed? Possibly that's for drivers to decide and vote on with their purchase orders. Today the top range, range Supra rocks a BMW sourced turbocharged 3 liter inline 6 and 8 speed automatic. A two liter four cylinder serves as the gateway model. While a manual won't sway anyone who believes the Supra is just a BMW Z4 with a makeover, its addition should at least delight those in favor of rolling their own gears and having some extra fun. A Toyota spokesperson also declined to comment on the future product. So what do I think? I think they are actually gonna do it. I think if it did get announced here shortly, it could come out towards this summer or this fall, start selling it as a 2023 model. Now, how do I feel about that? So I am a big manual transmission fan. Pretty much all of my cars have had a manual transmission. 
and my daily driver is the WRX and that's a six speed and I love it. And one of the things when I was first purchasing this car, it was like, do I want an automatic transmission? That was kind of a big turnoff for me as well. Started watching some reviews and things like that and people were very convinced by the ZF8 automatic transmission and I was a believer within about the first 10 seconds of driving it. After I got it to stage two, that's with the, the downpipe and the MHD, MHD stage two tune, that thing is crazy. Yeah, that's scary. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh my. Gosh, I I don't know. Would you want a manual in this? It's like, I mean, I guess it'd be fun, but it's it's also so fast. You'd be rolling constantly. I mean, I guess that'd be fun. I'm I'll I'll say I'm he's he's cringing. He doesn't I, I like that. I love manuals. He loves manuals. But this I, is this drives great. I love manuals, but the sport on this is so smart. It like knows when you want to be high revving. And I am, well, I'll just say I'm less disappointed than I thought I would be about having an automatic. Just because this automatic has been pretty impressive so far. Part of what makes this car so amazing is actually that transmission. So from someone who is a stick loyalist as far as the manual transmission, I became a believer real quick with the the ZF in here. It is absolutely incredible and something you have to experience for yourself. And then sport mode, it's just insane. It's you realize that it is so much faster than you could possibly roll. Am I still kind of pissed off if they do come out with the manual? Yeah, I gotta admit, I'll be a little jaded if that does come out because part of me will still kind of want it, but then I'll realize that it's it's going to be slower it is 100 percent going to be slower on that manual transmission it is about driving experience and we do love the manual transmission but i have my wrx as the daily driver and this thing's just incredible with that automatic also being anything after that 2020 model it's going to have that same problem with the ecu where it's not going to be easily easy to flash tune i mean you can get into things with uh sending your DME to get cloned in Russia and that can get really expensive and probably not a great idea to be doing that right now. <laughs> that would be super expensive. So for a manual, I'm gonna be slower and I'm gonna lose my tuning options or at least the an affordable tuning options. So I just wanted to give my opinion real quick before anything's announced, whether it is or is not announced. It could be soon, we'll see. I think it'll be good for the model to have that option. And then uh, if it does come out, let's see some of the other reviews and see what people think of it. See if it just gets a, a spongy manual from a BMW or if it gets something that's pretty good. We'll have to see how it turns out. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. I appreciate it. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up and browse through the other videos on my channel. See if any of those interest you as well and consider subscribing. Till next time, I'm out.